Hello everybody, today I'll show you how to use the modern poster Photoshop action. So before we get started, let's view a few examples. With this action, you need to open your main image and mark your main subject area. And then you run the action, you get something like this. So uh, this effects, this elements are created at random. So every time you run the action, you'll get a different effect altogether. And you can also change the various elements, color of the various elements and the backgrounds, which we'll show, uh, which you'll get to see after I run the action. These are a few more examples. As you can see, the patterns have been generated at random, so you can get different look every time you run the action. Here is another example. You can also add your own text to the effect. So there are two types of action, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 creates vertical patterns and type 2 creates horizontal patterns. Here are a few more examples. This is the type 2 and this is the type 1. You can also apply this effect on any portrait images. It would look cool. Okay, so let's get started. I'll use this image. So now we need to take care of a few things. We need to check if these settings are correct for the action to work properly. First is go to image mode and check your image is in RGB color mode and it's 8 bits per channel. Then click this flyout list and select panel options and make sure use default masks on fill layers and add copy to copy layers and groups. Both of these checkboxes are checked. Next, your image has to be a background locked layer. If it's not, like you have done some operation like cropping or something else and your image looks like this, it's layer 0, then you need to turn it to a background locked layer. To do that, go to layer, new, background from layer. So as you can see, it has turned into a background lock layer. Now regarding image size, this image, uh, this action works pretty good with images having width or height from 2000 pixels to 4000, 4500 pixels. So whichever is the shorter axis, just crank up the height, uh, crank up the width, crank up the dimension to around 2500 to 1000 pixels for the action to work properly and make sure you're having 300 pixels per inch. If it's not, you should, I recommend you to crank it up to 300 pixels per inch resolution. Now to load up the action, go to window actions and action panel pops up. Click this flyout menu and select load actions. From the download package, select modern poster Photoshop action and select load. As you can see, the action has loaded. I has got two types, type one and type two. Now to load the brush and the patterns, go to edit, presets and preset manager. With the drop down, from the drop down, select brushes and click load. Select modern poster brushes and click load. Now from the drop down, switch to patterns and again select load and select modern poster patterns. Click done. Now select this brush tool and make sure your opacity is 100%, your flow is 100% and your blending mode is normal. These three parameters have to be like this for the action to work properly. Okay, with this done, let's mark our main subject area. To do that, create a new layer above the background. Layer to do that, click this new layer icon and change this layer name to subject. Make sure subject is in lowercase. It must be in lowercase for the action to work properly. Now I'll select the background layer and quickly mark my subject area. I'll use a quick selection tool over here. You can use anything like a pen tool, magic wand, anything that you want. I'll quickly select it with the quick selection tool over here.
Okay, with that done, I'll quickly now select the subject layer and fill it with a color. I'll select any color. I'll take a round brush and quickly fill it up. Few areas have been left unmarked, so I'll quickly fill them with the brush. Okay, with that done, uh, make sure your brush opacity is 100% flow, 100% and mode is normal. And then select any one of these types and I'll select type one over here and I'll hit play. So it will take some time for the action to finish and we'll fast forward from here and get back when it's done. So the action has finished rendering and this is the final effect. Let me zoom in a bit and show you the final effect. This is 100% resolution. Okay, now let's see what elements we have over here. This first group is the background elements. Here we have the base color. You can change the color by double clicking here and bringing up the color picker. You can change to any color you want. Like so. These are the background patterns. Here you can do pretty much uh, many stuff. This is the background half tone. You can scale it. Same for the half tone black. Then scale it up or down. Next is the background circles. You can also scale them. And these are background dots. Here we have the background dashes, white and black, and we have a background pattern. You can also change the color of this background pattern. like this and one more thing that you can do over here is you can paint on the layer masks with white to show parts of this elements and also paint with black to hide parts of this to do that you can select the brushes which are provided in the pack like here i'll select the um, second brush and i'll select the layer mask of this background pattern and i'll With few tabs as you can see it'll create the pattern like this i can also select the background half tone white and try creating few patterns over here also if i don't want parts of the pattern i can simply hide them by selecting the layer mask and changing the color to black as you can see it's it hides the layers okay here we have the background frames this is the frame around the subject and these are the corner marks here you can also change the stroke width And you can also change the stroke color like this. Here we have the background frame corner marks and we can also change the color of this one too. Next we have background texture. This creates a grungy canvas texture on the background. As you can see here, I can simply turn it off or I can lower the opacity. Okay, next we have 15 background color effects. We can quickly show them by toggling the eyeball icon and quickly apply a color overlay effect on the background itself.
now we have the image elements this is the main image element here we have the image border which creates a border around the image you can change the color next we have our image mosaic and we have different parts of the main image so these are the two shift layers the first one is the main base and this is the fragment shift fragments so if you don't if you like it can happen like uh, since these elements are created at random at times you have a few of the uh, image generated like uh, fragments are more and you have uh, more offsets of, from the main image so if you don't like this effect you can what you can do is you can show this complete image so as you can see here we have this offset from here broken away area so once we turn this on it will show the original image here we have another one on the hand so you can turn this on and show the main image if you want and here we have another one without the noise so as you can see I'll hide this image shift base and you'll see that this enables the image complete without the noise next we have our levels adjustments for the image only These are the overlay elements. These are the stroke, overlay stroke pattern. You can change the stroke width. All the stroke color. Here we have the subtle rectangular abstract pieces you can change the blending mode i'll keep it to soft light and you have the text here so you can change the scaling of the text or you can simply grab the move tool from here and simply move this text around Next, we have the 15 color effects. These color effects affect the overall image. Unlike the 15 background color effects, which only apply to the background effect, background layers, this overall color effects apply to the entire image. Next, we have our overall adjustments. Here we have the overall brightness and contrast. Our overall levels, overall photo filter, overall heat saturation, overall curves. overall gradient map overall gradient fill you can change the color or the angle and the scaling and the overall color fill Now you can also simply delete this folder and again run the action and you'll get an entire different set of elements created because these are all generated at random. So you can try and experiment with the kind of look that you uh, want and you can also try the second type of action which will create the horizontal rectangular patterns. So that's it for now. See you soon.